did you ever? Like a growl? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet this shadow. side. You all right? What happened? Don't know, but we need to get you out of this room. Yeah, let's get you out. Way too it. it looked like a big stocky man, and he was walking towards us. Emma, did you see anything on the ghost dimension? Tonight we investigate New Mills Art Theatre, which first opened its doors in 1911. Many acts have passed through these doors, and it appears some refuse to leave. This theatre has seen and survived two world wars during its time and still stands proud to this very day. Shadows have been seen and cold spots detected in this area. Perhaps it's an old projectionist still entertaining patrons from a forgotten era. On the stage, phantom footsteps can be heard and the sounds of singing have also been reported. Is this a performer taking one last bow for eternity? The figure of a person has been seen sitting in the seats staring down at the stage. Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. <laughs> so Paul, when was this place built? Built in 1911. It was built by a local builder from Chapel um, on the site of Viascope. It opened in 1904 originally. And um, have you had any experiences in this, in this um, auditorium? A long while ago, I was working in the auditorium doing the lighting for a show, and I heard a creaking that was a random creaking, and then it carried on. Uh, I turned around and looked into the auditorium to see the seats going up and down. Um, I asked a few people about things and subsequently found out that that's what the, how the caretaker of the day used to clean the seating. And that was at the back of it, at the top there? At the back in the circle, yeah, and the story goes that um, there was a show in about 1960. He finished cleaning the, the circle, went home, and unfortunately passed away in the night. Oh. So we think it's his ghost that comes back and home. How, fre how frequent is the activity in here? Very infrequent. Is it very in? Yeah, it's always at its most high when there's been a show. Yeah. Ah, right, OK. There's been a show today, hasn't there? There has been a show today. We've had 160 kids in here today doing the stage school. Wow. So it should be a good night. Well, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> and I should have brought the energy up and hopefully we'll be able to pick some of the spirits up. Exactly. The dressing room is said to have a heavy and oppressive feel to it. Almost as if somebody's angry with us all being in here. So this is one of the most active dressing rooms. Paul, what happened in here? We had some members of the public in here not so long ago. Um, they were just about getting ready to leave, going out through the door. They had a sudden feeling um, and the guy, the last to read the room, actually got knocked over by something that he can't explain. So he pushed right over? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And he had to be taken out to safety? He did, yeah. yeah. God. How many dressing rooms are actually in this uh, theatre? There's two dressing rooms upstairs which refer to the back bedrooms just for an, an age thing from the society. Right. And there's three principal dressing rooms downstairs, so there's five in total. And have you ever had anybody reporting any uneasy feelings or activity in any of the other dressing rooms in here? There is people that will not come into the theatre because they feel uneasy about being on their own mm. and hearing stories and feeling things, um, but nothing that we can put a pin in, really. Wow. It's quite, well, it's said to be quite active, but in the day, in the light, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's, it's got, got a nice it's feel. Got a feel. However, when it? the lights go off, that's... It takes on a whole new yeah. year when the lights go on, especially when you've had a show and some of the lights can be creaking yeah. and, and people hear things and they've all come very uneasy very quickly mm. and they like and to I'm leave like... the building. And over the years, who's used these dressing rooms? Any famous names that have come? The society uses the dressing rooms a lot for shows, but we have had, back in the day, some of the names. Uh, we've had Maxwell's been here, 
uh, Max Wall's wife, who I can't just think what her name is at the moment. Yeah. Um, Wynne Davis, famous concert pianist. Yep. Ken Dodd, he's been several times. And we've just recently had Lucy Spragan as well, oh, right, Effects yeah. Factor, yeah. she played to a full house. Yeah. Thought it was excellent. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately we'd had nothing, no happenings for any of those people, yeah. I don't think. So you've had many people come through the doors throughout the years. So there could be still people that reside here that may have passed guests and acts that come back to home. Yeah, absolutely. The theatre has lots of paranormal tales and stories. The stage area appeared to host a lot of this activity. So we will start here. Please tell me that was one of you's whistling. That was like a door. Was that Did you whistling? hear a whistle? That was a man's... Just over there. Should we have a quick look? The curtain's moving. Which one? That's me, Wolf. This curtain? This curtain's moving at the top. Top of the bar. So we've started our investigation here in the main theatre auditorium. We weren't even ready to film. And we're having activity Did... straight away. I don't know. Did you hear that? I heard that. Did then. you hear that? That was up there. Shall we get the ovulus and see what we can get? Yeah. Already this is going off. This is a geophone. And we've... Well, that, that picks up on vibrations. Look. Oh, that was something up there then. That Are you up there? <laughs> business? Was this classed as a business? In your day. Or was it your business? Do that. That's movement behind. Just yeah. to let you know, there is a shadow up there. Is there? That's yeah, if you come to watch the screen. It's right where you're shining the torch. Okay. So tell us. We can bounce. What was it? Don't know. We can vouch that nobody's up there because you can't physically get up there. No. Tell us a bit about you. Tell us something about... Okay, there's a shadow up there on the ceiling. Where? <gasps> can you see it? Slight shadow, yeah. I don't know if you'll pick that up on the infrared. No. No. Does the infrared and wash it out? Give us something else. Tell us your name. Communicate to this device here. Speak to us, give us a word. Somebody's definitely here with us. Let's go and have a look. Let's watch so you've got to watch the... Uh... Ooh. Raise. Yeah. Eat. What the hell was that? What the hell? That was the door. That was the seat. That was the seat? Yeah. That was the seat? That was the seat? Are you preparing to watch a show? You, you think we're, we're performing for you? There's no one in here. That was the seat? It's like somebody sat down, like you said, yeah. ready to watch this investigation. Oh. Paranormal? Paranormal. Paranormal. Wow. Paranormal. We're paranormal investigators. Do you know that of us? Can you use your voice and communicate with us, as well as speaking to this device? Coming up on Ghost Dimension. That was an audible voice. That was an audible voice. That what was that saying? Corner. Yes. Yeah. Seat. Seat just went down, I think. Bangs and, and noises coming from everywhere. It's impossible to go in one direction because you go over there, then there's a bang over there, and you go over there. Okay, let's get. Let's see if we can make it. Make a noise over there. Yeah? 
Can you make a noise if you're at the back of the theatre or behind the stage? Make a noise, give us a tap. Harvest. Harvest. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Do us another noise. Mummy. This could have been like a child. Could have been here. a child. I've got an idea. The stage revolves. Now, you know when you do a seance? You... Oh, that's a good sign. Seance. Yeah? You normally stand in a circle. Well, we've got the energy of the stage. Yeah. And we, we can make that spin. Revolve. While yes. we call out and then stop. Yeah. Maybe we can build up some energy on that stage. We decided to use the stage as a seance, but just as we were about to set up, the spirit awake. Maybe they liked our idea of communication. That was an audible voice. That was an audible voice. That what was that saying? Corner. Yes. Let's go over to the corner before we do this. That was like it was drawing us into this corner because it wanted us to do this seance. Is that you? Can you do that again for us? Use your voice. As we arrived in the corner we had been drawn to, clear footsteps could be heard. Was this ghostly footsteps of a spirit coming towards us? Is that you? Can you do that again for us? Use your voice. Jerry. Hide. Hide. Are you playing hide and seek with us? Okay. Oh my God, goosebumps. Yeah. Really bad goosebumps. Are you hiding behind these blocks, these curtains? What's your name? It begins with a B. Benjamin. I was thinking it was a girl. You think it's a girl? Yeah. Story. Story. Do you want to tell us your story? I was thinking Betsy. Betsy. D? D. B and a D. What could this mean? Light. Did you <coughs> like my light? Oh, thank you. Did you like my pretty light? Award. Did you win awards here on the stage? That makes for being sense. on the stage? Foliage. Well, it would, it would have been foliage because there's foliage backstage yeah. behind in the rooms there, but it's fake. Yeah. Okay, let's grab Paul. Let's get this stage spinning. Okay. Paul, tell us about the stage. Why does it spin? The stage spins. It was the idea of the society at that time. They were going to do a show which involved a lot of scene changes, uh, Fiddler on the Roof in 1976. So the they came across the idea of building this stage, making it revolve. This stage, we think, makes us unique in the UK as being the only theatre with a fixed, permanent, raked, yeah. revolving stage. And it's variable speed and goes backwards and forwards. We have great fun on it sometimes. It, it is amazing, yeah, yeah. it is, it is. It's not paranormal, but it's fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doing a seance on the revolving stage. So we have Paul who's joined us. We have the ovulus on. It's just said time. Is that the REM pod that's going off? The so REM pod's you know? going off. I think we should start this seance. Yeah. Yeah. Right, do we have to connect? Yeah, hands? let's connect hands. Let's do the seance. Okay, do you want to call out? I think we should, we should try and communicate with that little girl. Yeah, yeah, the little girl that's, that was commit. Uh, yeah, the, one, the little girl that was medal. communicating with yeah, us before. Yeah. Okay, is there any spirits here with us now? The little girl, can you come forward and speak to us? Thank you. If that's you setting off the REM pod over there, can you speak to this device we've got on the table, which is? Wow! Did you hear that? I did. I heard that girl's voice. Can you speak to us? And tell us your name. Maybe use this device. Oh. Taste. Taste. Did you hear that? I heard that. Did you hear that as well? Some, uh, 
heard about three different things in three different areas, so I'm not sure yeah. what to look at. I think the circle is creating, creating the energy. So we're connecting on the table. Yeah. And it's getting stronger and stronger. And stronger. stronger. Are you there? Can you come closer to us? Did you ever? Like a growl? Yeah. Yeah. See this the shadow side. over there, though. Over there in the corner. Yeah. By the REM pod. Just to the left of it. Compete. Okay. Is there more than one of you here? You're trying to compete for the energy, and we're building up right now. Cleansing. 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 Are you not at rest? Do you Did need you... help? I heard. Did yeah. you hear a voice? Yeah. yeah. What did you hear? Like it's like a... somebody shouted. Yes. But it was from out there. But it was like an eerie, echoing mm. sort of... Uh, yeah. It was like a need for help yeah. sort of shout. Oh, I'm really cold. Yeah. Behind I just moved All into my a... arms. Can you feel it? I don't know if I've just moved into a, a cold spot, but it's just gone really Behind cold you. here. Behind you. Behind you. I heard it. Rempod. Yeah. By the REM pod, yeah. it was an audible sound. <laughs> You're doing really well. This idea's worked. Yeah. We're sticking on the circle. Mm. Has anybody got goosebumps? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Should we try and stop it spinning? Reverend. 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 Loud. Oh, so that one? That was we'll, start a, we'll start a, a uh, chair. Yeah. A seat. The seat just went down, I think. You sat in the audience. Enjoying the show we're putting on? Is that what you've come to see? You've come to see us at the show? Right. Shadow? Where? Uh, it's, it's just walk that way. In between the chairs? Yeah? Yeah? We've got a camera on that, so I thought I got it. It's going really cold. Yeah. It's really cold. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. This but is going really that. good. Did you see a shadow? I saw that. At the back wall? Yes! Candle flickering. Are you blowing on the candle? Oh, look at that. Oh! Did you hear that? I heard Did voice. you hear that? That yeah. said mummy. Yeah. That said mummy over there. Oh, slowing down. Yeah. Suffer. Yeah. Should we stop this and see if the energy is built? I think we keep going. Keep we keep going. going. Well, we're it's like a momentum. Aren't we? Yeah. We're getting somewhere. Holiday. Holiday. All of the equipment is going off. What the hell was that? That was like a shh. That was behind me. Yeah. I've just heard it blowing my face. And that was behind me. Yeah. No, no, no. I heard a shh. No, I heard a growl behind Paul. You heard a growl? Yeah, yeah. I, I heard it because I thought. Okay, that was you, behind me. You heard a growl, I heard a shh. But growls are not good, are they? There's that cold again. Well, that's an interpretation. I mean, we we automatically assume something's growling and it's not good. Yeah. But it could be something that's trying to build up some energy, trying to get a voice to do something. So it's not always right to jump to the conclusion it's bad. Oh, it's all right. All, all right. right, so you're all right, so you're not going to harm us. Yeah. So it feels like somebody's standing beside me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it feels like somebody's there. There was, Bex, what? there was something moving by the side of the wall. I know, I know, I know. The temperature dropped. Let's see if we can... And again, somebody put the camera near me, please, because somebody's telling me to shh. Really? Can you use your energy now to move this table? That's three times I've had shh right at the side of me. We've heard you, we think we've seen you. We think that you're around us and you're dropping the temperature. Can you try and move this table? There is something at the side of me. There is something at the side of me. Guys, I think we're surrounded. I'll just keep it yeah. Shush. We've generated the energy. I think we have. When we, we do things like visualisations with the energy, we say, imagine that it's going round in a circular motion. We're literally doing that right now. Yeah. So perhaps we're creating That's that vortex. That was the idea. Yeah. You know what could be happening? 
they could be performing their show. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh no, something what? just put its hand on my back. On your back? On my back, it just, the temperature just something dropped and then something. Oh god, that's gone cold. What, 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 what does that mean? Somebody was behind me, they physically put the hand, hand on, his back. on my back. Were they trying to do anything or were they just... I don't know, I don't... I, trying to warn you that they were there, maybe? Just let me know they're here, I think. I don't feel threatened. I is just wasn't... It? Can I just say my battery's gone from 45 minutes to 14 minutes. Wow. No. Whoa. So that's an instant yeah. drainage on battery, giving sick. them energy to make their, themselves more known to us. Coming up next. This is the left and the right side. Oh, oh. It was a shadow. Like a shadow person. No. Yes. Did you buy a programme tonight? Or do you know that we're making a TV programme? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. And the red pod's going mad when we're saying that as well. This is amazing. There's so much going on, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I like feel like I'm falling. Does anybody feel like they're falling off the chair? I feel, I feel dizzy, but I feel sick as well. Yeah. I don't think it's... Because we're not going fast enough. No, no we're, we're not. slow. I think it's a heightened activity because mm. we're going round, we're generating all yeah, the energy. Muse. Muse. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. I've just caught a black shadow right near the red. Seriously? Really? Wait, I heard it then. Do you want us to be quiet because you're performing your last show? Why are we being too loud for? Zoo. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? That's the audience. Listen. If you're enjoying the show, can you cheer? Our spinning seance had started to increase the paranormal activity in the building, and we felt it was time to venture deeper into the theatre, into the backstage corridor. <gasps> God! What the fuck? Oh my God! It was a shadow! Like a shadow person! No! Yes! Walking towards me! Oh! I don't want to go in. That's you go fair. first, you I'm go gonna, first. Give me the torch. You go first. That was just... He was walking. It looked like a big stocky man. And he was walking towards us. Emma, did you see anything on the camera where we are now? Didn't pick anything up, but I saw Bex. Um, it looked quite freaky. Yeah, she saw a shadow person, but you didn't see anything on the camera. It's been on the camera, unfortunately, now. Okay. What do we do? Do we stay here? Let's go further, and then we'll grab Paul and get the equipment in. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shit. What? This. Um, whatever's down here moved and banged as we were walking down. I'm going to put the obvious on. Do that. That was from these dressing rooms. Do that. If you want us to go into a dressing room, make us a noise now. What was that? That was a voice. Moon. Uh, Sean asked for the spirit which I had seen to make a noise and then we caught something very unexpected. A clear growl as a response. Make us a noise now. What the fuck was that? Make us a noise now. What the fuck was that? Was that you? Can you well you obviously made us a noise. There's a dressing room on the left. And the dressing room on the right, if you want us to go on the left, give us a big bang. If you want us to go on the right, use your voice. It, could that spider be moving because of, um Because of wind? Yeah. 
Oh, because we've just come in here. Okay. Use your voice if you want me to go into the right with Bex or if you want us to go into the left tap. Oh, okay. That was the tap. Thank you. We'll go into the left. We'll take all the cameras in. We'll go and find out what we've got. We'll grab Paul and get some experiments going on. Yeah. Paul up there. That's a nice dressing room, isn't it? Yeah. Wardrobe. Where the fuck are you going? This one. This is the left and the right side. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? Oh, it's it's wanting to corner us in this room, but why? which isn't a dressing room. I thought this was a dressing room. It's, it said it wasn't harmful on the stage. Let's try another one. We're not going to fall for that trap. Multiple. Is the multiple spirits? I don't want to go first. I'll go first. Go up those stairs. That's the way to yeah. the dressing. Yeah. Oh. Yep. The REM pod in the dressing room is going off, so you might want to make your way up there. Looks like something's waiting for you. Jesus Christ, the REM pod in the dressing room? Upstairs, in the dressing room, where we are now. No, we're not there. Yeah, we're going to find the dog. Let's go upstairs then. Go on. Go on. There's a tap. There's footsteps as well. So you made us come in here. Who are you? As we were walking up the stairs, this said sent. Did you send us up here? Did you trap us? Why are you looking at me like that? It just feels weird. It doesn't have the same atmosphere it did when we came with the lights on. I know we said it wouldn't. I wonder if the little girl's in here. There's a dolly here. You can play with the dolly. Chair. Sit Do you want down. me to sit down? I'll sit on here next to the doll. And put that there. Do you want me to hold the doll? Is the doll is the doll fun? Can you give us an indication, a clear, audible indication? With your voice, or with a noise, that you're here. This thing's going mental. The temperature. Sunrise. Sunrise. Are you here to, until sunrise? It'd be strange if they were, wouldn't it? Yeah. Can you hear that? Like a... A silent... Yeah. Can you use our energy? Come forward and affect one of us. What did that say? Eat. Eat? Are you hungry? Is this where you ate? I can hear that. Voices? Yeah. It sounds like a little girl. Hello? Was that you that was downstairs? Come and affect the temperature in this room. We've got a device here which will change if you go towards it. Touch one of us or affect one of us. Erica. Marker. You couldn't use one of us as a marker. Was that you? What was that? I heard that. That was like somebody was laughing. Are you laughing at us? Come on, come in here and laugh louder. Laugh right in our faces. That was a bang. That was outside. Come on, affect us now. My ribs hurt. Your ribs hurt? Yeah. Maybe somebody's pushing your ribs. Ribs hurt. Tap, copy this noise. Yeah, 
deplete. So deplete. And you're trying to use our energy. Because you've got no energy yourself. You deplete it. Lex? Girl. Hello? It's like somebody has attached themselves to Bex. It's like a spirit, a spirit has attached themselves to Bex right now. Are you the girl that was just communicating through this device? Is that you? Someone had attached themselves to me, which made me feel like a child. When Sean touched me, instantly I felt a force push him away. Quick, quick! What's the matter? Something's throwing back, something's something something pushed me away from her then. When I went near her, something yeah. pushed me away. It's like I got a static What's charge in my body. What's the matter? Mummy. Is this not Bex? What's your name? I'm going to touch her What's your name? That's a weird way of Nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of. What's the matter? What's your name? Tell us your name. Tell us your name. Where's my mummy? Step back. Where's my mummy? Leave her alone. No, but right now, right now you're affecting somebody else. No. You are. No. Mummy. I understand you want your mummy. Where, where's my mummy? I don't know. Stop. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us your Who name? Who are you? No. Mummy. Yeah. Where's my mummy? I understand you're afraid, but right now what you're doing is you're affecting somebody else and no. you're probably scaring her. No. No. We really mommy. need you. No. We really need you to give us. No Leave this no. body right now! I don't know what's going on, man. It's just out of here. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're not feeling well. Came like it was coming over me then, so I'm gonna get out. Alright, I'm stuck out. Yeah. Where's my mummy? I know you're probably frightened, but I really need you to just leave Bex alone. I don't know, sweetheart, but we might be able to help you. Why? What, what, what? I know you're probably very frightened. But right now you're probably frightening our friend. You don't want to do that, do you? What? Hmm? Where's my mummy? I don't know, sweetheart. But what I want you to do is reach out to my hand. No. I really need you to take no. my hand. No. I, I may be able to help. 
what's what's don't worry about those trust me and take my hand why because i want to help take my hand I promise i won't harm you take my hand trust me you can keep the dolly give me, give me your hand sweetheart i won't harm you I promise Shit. there you go Hold on. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. There you go, Sean. Just okay. Pause. It's safe. It's safe. Take my hand. There you go. Hear me. Push this person away from you. We need you back. Come forward, Bex. Push this little girl out. Push this little girl out. Come forward. Come towards my voice. Come forward. Come on, Bex. You okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You okay? There we go. All right. You okay, love? You all right? What happened? Don't know, but we need to get you out of this room. Yeah, let's get you out. Way somewhere. too big for you. You okay? Yeah. Come on. There's some weird stuff going on here. Okay. Let's get out. Don't worry about it. Come and get it later. Let's get you out of this area right now. You okay, Sean? Yeah. Something okay. overcame Bex there, and okay. it was unexplainable what it was. So they sort of pushed me away from her, and I felt like a static charge. What was that? I have no idea. You but look then, like you got a bruise on the side of your eye there. Poss so. Possibly. Yeah. But also, at the same time, so it overcome me as if I was somebody else to say, Get out of this room. So we'll go and find out what's going on with her, and we'll um, rejig. Yeah, and try and take a break. Else. dressing room it got a little bit out of control rather in the other dressing room all I know was I was speaking to the little girl with the doll on my lap and I felt paralyzed from the legs down and I just felt distant I felt like I could hear everybody's voice but it was distant and then I oh. just I just I didn't feel in control at all I just I felt all of me felt in the pit of my stomach and there was just some big presence that took over me and I just I couldn't get out I, I physically couldn't get out of it and then the next thing you know I was on the floor with Paul just as you were saying that somebody just touched my head in here really yeah like that wow I don't think the spirits are harmful here no I mean we, we just had a, a, a quick chat a second ago. I mean, I think if you've had a little girl come to you, mm. um, she probably identifies with you. Yeah. You know, it might be that you remind her uh, yeah. of her mum because obviously she kept saying she wanted her mummy. Um, these things can happen. It, it's very quick, and it's you don't really get much warning. They, they just yeah. they see an opening, they pop in. What has happened shocked my entire team to the core. However, New Mills Theatre had more ground to cover, and so I sent Sean and Dave out to investigate on their own. Okay, so I've come into the projectionist room. I'm gonna uh, call out and see if I can gain any activity. I'm gonna ask for some spirits to communicate with me. Um, as you can see, there's big massive projectors here. A lot of wires on the floor. Okay, so I've come up to the top theater to uh, the double seats that we discussed earlier. Obviously with the activity we've got downstairs, it seemed to be quite attached to me. And so I'm gonna sit in these um, double seats. Let's see if I can get any activity. So I've got the whole place to myself now. There's not a single soul in here with me. I'll do some calling out. I'm just gonna pop the camera down. So you can see pretty much everything that I see. Okay, so I'm calling out to any energies, any spirits in this room. Can you come and make your presence known for me? Okay, 
Okay, is anyone here? Please make yourself known. Come forward and communicate with me. There was, a, there was a, like a tap, tap, tap on this machine at the back. I'm not sure if that was me or... That definitely wasn't me. Hello? Are you here? Come forward. And show yourself for me. It's like a whistling. Can you whistle? Can you knock for me? And again, the same feeling as downstairs. It's like a cold, the feeling of someone walking over your grave. There was a bang then, tap, just outside. It's very enclosed in here, as you can see. I'll show you what I've got. I've got the back. I've got the lock off camera there. I've got this massive projector and literally another one right beside me. So if anything comes in here, I haven't got an easy escape because I've also got to get down those ladders just over there. What the hell was that? Hello? Is that you using your voice then? There was a laugh, like a laugh. I heard that. Definitely, there is noise, there's, there's weird things going on here, weird.